DC brushless motors are taking over. Appliances, power tools, and even HVAC systems are all moving over to brushless DC motors. Maybe you're even watching this video to justify a new brushless power tool. So what makes them better than other electric motor types? And how many other types of electric motors are there? The two main types of electric motors are AC and DC motors, and these types are further divided up. When I was doing research for this video, this was one deep rabbit hole to go down, so I simplified it. Check out this flowchart. DC brushless motors don't require as many physical parts as DC brushed motors. And this makes their lifetime longer, improves their efficiency, and means they require almost no maintenance. AC motors, on the other hand, are usually brushless, but there's still reasons why people choose DC brushless motors more often. To start with the basics, an electric motor is used to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. In practice, this means that the electrical current created by the type of electricity being used produces a rotating magnetic field that rotates the armature of a motor. There are two types of electricity in general, alternating current and direct current. So that's why electric motors use one or the other. And this is why the two major types of electric motors are either AC or DC. These two types are further broken down into other types. The main two types of alternating current or AC motors are synchronous motors or induction motors, which are asynchronous. When a motor is asynchronous, it means that the magnetic field of the motor's stator and rotor rotate at different speeds to generate torque. When a motor is synchronous, the magnetic fields rotate at the same speed to generate torque. Synchronous motors are generally more mechanically stable and efficient than asynchronous motors, and DC motors are synchronous. Asynchronous motors, on the other hand, have a lower cost and they're generally more convenient to maintain. Direct current or DC motors are usually characterized by whether or not their design includes brushes. That's why people might compare DC brushed to DC brushless motors. The AC induction motor. This is an asynchronous motor that was invented by Nikola Tesla in 1887, and it's been given credit for drastically improving energy generation and making the long distance distribution of electricity possible. The induction motor has been further developed since then for power and efficiency, and now the most common type of AC motor is a newer variation of the induction motor called the three phase squirrel cage motor. So, when we're comparing AC motors to DC motors, that's the AC motor we're talking about. Squirrel cage motors are generally cheaper than DC brushless motors, which are much more efficient and compact, but are also very complex. They also have a generally higher operational speed than synchronous motors. DC brushless motors can sometimes reach speeds of up to 100,000 RPM, whereas synchronous AC motors operate smoothly and consistently at lower speeds. Squirrel cage motors and DC brushless motors also both require zero maintenance. Squirrel cage motors don't require slip rings, brushes, or commutators, and less physical parts generally means less wear. This results in longer lifetimes for motors, and the lack of brushes and commutators is also partly why squirrel cage motors and DC brushless motors are more efficient than DC brushed motors. But keep in mind that even though the squirrel cage motor is arguably the best AC motor out there, they are still much less efficient than DC brushless motors. This is in large part because all AC motors suffer from reactive power losses, and DC motors do not. You can learn more about why AC electricity is impacted by reactive power losses in our video about power factor. Today, AC squirrel cage motors are often used in elevators and in industrial settings for heavy machinery, like cranes or water pumps and DC brushed motors are still used despite their inefficiencies in simple applications where motors don't need to be constantly running, such as in windshield wipers, car windows, and seat position motors in cars. Now let's talk about DC brushless motors and electronically commutated or EC motors. If you've looked into DC brushless motors, you've probably come across EC motors and wondered what the difference between the two of them are. Well, honestly, there's not really much of a difference. AC motors are just DC brushless motors that are characterized by their method of commutation rather than by whether or not they include brushes. The only true difference we found between DC brushless motors and EC motors is that EC motors can either be internally or externally controlled. The ability for them to be externally controlled allows them to be used in high heat applications. All right, now that we've cleared that up, DC brushless motors really started to gain traction in the 1980s when Robert E. Lordo developed a large-scale brushless DC motor that was 10 times more powerful than previous brushless DC motors. DC brushless motors are more efficient than any type of AC motor. This is because they don't suffer from reactive power losses or other power losses like I mentioned before, which are experienced universally by AC power. 
They are also up to 25% more efficient than DC brushed motors because they don't suffer from power losses caused by brushes and a commutator rubbing against each other. When these two things rub against each other, it causes friction and energy loss in the form of heat. The increased efficiency of DC brushless motors also means that for power tools, battery life is going to be much longer, meaning you can get much more done between charges. They are also the motors with the longest lifetime, so basically your DC brushless tools will last longer in general. Next, unlike AC motors, DC brushless motors include control electronics. These improve the motor's precision when controlling output speed, position, and torque. Despite these electronics, DC brushless motors are still much more compact than AC motors and have a higher torque to weight ratio. This makes them more powerful than AC motors of the same size. Currently, they're used in many applications, including power tools or in computer fans or in hard drives, electric vehicles, and they're even growing more popular for certain industrial applications. These could include CNC machines, robots, or pumps. Interesting side note, DC brushless motors are even gaining some popularity in HVAC systems. AC motors have been used more often in the past for HVAC systems, but they are not the most efficient choice. This is because they run continuously at full power, whereas variable speed DC brushless motors do the same job as AC motors used in HVAC systems, but they are at least 50% more efficient. The only downside, as with most superior technologies, is the cost of DC brushless motors. But when you consider how much longer they'll last, and how much better their performance is. Springing for the equipment with a DC brushless motor really does make sense, especially if you're using the equipment on a regular basis and it can pay for itself. I'm Erin from Argentum, where we make a DC power distribution system to make buildings more efficient. If you're interested in learning more about what we do, you can find our website at argentum.ai, and you can also find a ton of blog posts that cover similar topics to this, so do check that out. And if you would like to see more content like this in video format, then hit like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.